Hi guys, Arwen here. So what I want to share with you guys today is how you do one thing is how you probably do everything. And I realized this not too long ago when I decided to learn to knit. So I recently, I keep feeling like the inner nudging in this, inside me to create an online course, right? And I keep wanting to do it and thinking about it, but not actually doing it. And I've, you know, already done all the things I do when I want to manifest something like clearing all my blocks, getting myself lined up and starting to like energize the new um, belief structure that I've created for myself, the new reality that I've created for myself, like seeing it and feeling it coming and all of that. Um, and I have been doing that, which is why like I'm wanting to do it more and more and more. And then I stopped and I noticed that my ego kept blocking me a little bit, right? I kept thinking, well, wait a minute, maybe I need to sit down and do an outline or wait, maybe I need to do it like da 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 da. And then I stopped and was like, wait a minute, I need to do it how I do everything because how you do one thing is how you do everything. And that is what my message this week is. So I want to bring this home with a story. The easiest way I know how to really share this with you is to talk about knitting. <laughs> so not that long ago I was standing at Michael's and I, I like wanted something to do with my hands. Like I didn't even care what it was. I just I had a lot of podcasts, a lot of YouTube videos I wanted to listen to and I, I just I was like I can't just sit there. I have to do something. And then suddenly behold in front of me like lit up in gold was the knitting aisle. I was like oh I'll learn to knit. What a great idea, right? So I go in the knitting aisle and I find this yarn. I was like, oh my goodness, it's so pretty, right? Like I really liked the colors. And so I grabbed some yarn and I just grabbed some knitting needles. I was like, great, this will be perfect. This will be enough to start. So I go home. Now realize I have no idea how to knit. Like, I mean, zero, zero. I know there's such a thing as knitting and I know there's such a thing as purling. That is the extent of my knitting knowledge at that time, right? And I knew I needed two needles. <laughs> <laughs> so I get online and I go to YouTube and I type in how to knit, right? And so I'm sitting there, I'm watching the person, I'm like, oh, this is cool, but I don't know how to get it on the needle. It's like, oh, okay, well, let me look up how to start knitting, right? Let me try something else. Okay, then it comes up. So that's called casting on. It's great, didn't know that. So then I learned how to cast on, okay? Then I learned how to knit and I sat there and I practiced that for a while. I was like, okay, I've got this. Then I started listening to my videos that I wanted to listen to and I'm like sitting there knitting. This is taking a lot of concentration because I don't know how to do it. And then I was like, okay, I got it. And then I went back to YouTube about an hour later. I was like, let me figure out how to purl, right? I know that's a thing. So I type it in, it comes up, I learn how to purl. I just sit there and I copy what the person's doing. Okay, great. Now I just sit there and I practice knitting and purling. A few hours later, because I'm listening to things on the internet this whole time, I'm like, you know what? These needles are difficult. I, it'd probably be easier with bigger, bigger needles. So I go back to the store the next day, and I get bigger needles. I ended up getting this. Well, you probably can't see it. But these are size 11 knitting needles, right? So it's much bigger. And so I get the bigger knitting needles, and then I, I start knitting and purling with those. I'm like, oh my goodness, like this is so much easier. I'm like, okay, I got it, all right? So I want you, to, the reason why I'm telling this story is because how you do one thing is how you do everything. So how I learned to knit was I didn't have a lot of pre-planning. I didn't think too much about it. I just suddenly decided, oh, I want to knit, right? And I don't have any blocks about knitting. I don't have any blocks about being able to start, being able to learn it, being able to do it. I don't care what anybody thinks about what I'm doing, right? Like, I don't care if you don't like my knit or you don't like my scarf or what. Like, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me in the least because I'm not like trying to quote unquote like achieve anything like it doesn't matter like I'm just knitting to be happy while I listen to my YouTube videos and my podcasts and stuff right that's all I'm doing and you know after I started learning it I thought well I guess I might as well make a scarf because that's useful right it's cold in the winter here I need a scarf I don't happen to have one so anyway how you do something you need to in order in order for you to get the fullness of this video, I want you to really think about what was something that you learned to do or taught yourself to do or went ahead and executed or went ahead and like did that you uh, don't have any blocks around. Something totally unrelated to, so if like you're blocked in love or whatever, don't choose that. Like you gotta choose some subject, you're not blocked at all, okay? And I thought it was so strange that I randomly out of the blue decided I should knit, right? Who does that? Like in my age group. Well, there's probably a lot of people in my age group that do that, but 
it's not like a thing like I don't know anybody that knits like you know what I mean it was it felt kind of random but I decided it was a good idea so anyway the point of my story is that the way that I started knitting and doing that with no blocks is the way that I need to do other things that sometimes my ego gets in the way and says oh you can't do it that way or whoa wait why don't you think about it right I didn't think about knitting I just did it and so the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. So remember and call up something that you did with ease that was no problem. Maybe you learned to swim. You know, I don't know if you've ever been swimming before and like you have no issue swimming, but your best friend like is afraid to get in the water or like won't go to the deep end. And you're like, why? Right? Like it's not computing for you because you don't have any fears around swimming. They're of course terrified of getting in the water, right? It's just like that. So um, you don't, that, in that example, you know, you wouldn't have blocks of swimming, but your friend would. So find something and notice how you did that because that's how you do everything. So back to my knitting story. So I decided it would be really cool to knit cables. And there was a video for that, of course. There's a video for everything on YouTube. And so I learned how to do that. And I wasn't very good. And there's like lots of like mistakes in this. But I didn't really care. I just kept on knitting. And I noticed that if I did something wrong in the knit, I would just take it out. Now I had to Google how to, or I had to YouTube how to do that, because at first I didn't know how to do that. I was like, oh no, my stitches are messed up, or oh no, I dropped a stitch. I was like, what am I supposed to do about that? And I, I at first I was like, oh my goodness, my scarf is ruined. <laughs> and then I came to my senses and went, wait a minute, there's a video for that. I looked it up, figured out how to undo that, easily undid it, and then kept on knitting, right? And not having any blocks about knitting it was so easy like if I made a mistake I didn't worry about it I at first I got a little bit upset I thought oh my goodness I'm gonna have to find someone that knits to help me get through this <laughs> and then I stopped to realize no somebody's already done a video on this <laughs> like I don't need to look up knitting groups in my city right like somebody's done a video on this so um, but if there wasn't the internet I would have gone to find someone who knew how to knit right so anyway um, I got over my first hurdle with, you know, messing up stitches, dropping stitches, whatever, and then I just kept going. And then a couple times I found some mistakes, but I just kept going. Like, I didn't forget about it. I didn't feel like I needed to go back four inches and fix it if I'd done it. I was like, whatever, it's my first scarf. That's why this has some a few imperfections in it that I missed and then didn't realize until I got multiple stitches away. And I was like, oh, whatever. So, anyway, this was the first thing that I did. And then this was the second thing that I did. I thought, oh, let me do two cables. That'll be fun. So I did. And then I thought, oh, let me do this. This will be more exciting. This is um, a Celtic braid, is I think it's called. No, a Saxon, a Saxon braid is what this one is called. And this one has all sorts of imperfections in it. But when I look at it, I don't see the imperfections. Like, I don't notice them, and you'd have to be, like, real close up to see them. So where I'm going with this part of my story is whatever it is that you're trying to do or you're trying to manifest or you want to bring forth, right? Like if it's love and you go on dates and whatnot and sometimes you goof up a little bit, like just keep on going. Like you've got to allow yourself to do things the way you naturally do things. If you are trying to get your business up and running, you got to notice how you naturally do something when you don't have blocks and how do you handle that and then apply that to whatever it is you're trying to get through where you do have blocks. Okay. So despite the fact that I'm not the best knitter and I'm not the most perfect knitter, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven scarves is what, is what I have now made. And if I would have had a lot of blocks on knitting, I would have never made any of the scarves. But I just got started and I just did things the way I naturally do things, which is to just get started and like see how it goes. And then if I need to learn something, I go look it up and I go figure it out. You know, I find the person, or I find the thing, or I find the book, or I find the whatever to get me through like that thing. And then after I get through a couple of the things like with the knitting that I needed to know, and like I feel like, oh, okay, I got the hang of this. You know, then I got braver and I decided to try something a little bit different, a little bit more difficult, and then a little bit more difficult. And then I learned to do something completely different, which is this horseshoe stitch, I think is what it was called. You know, and this is not the easiest thing to do, but it's not the hardest thing to do. But I was able to do it because I watched a video and I followed someone doing it. And I learned all sorts of new stitches. And then I learned this one. 
And because I thought this stitch was really fun to do, I decided to make another one for my friend who's a guy, so I figured I'd make him this one. And this has imperfections in it, but I guarantee you, he's not going to notice. And I had so much fun with that one, I decided to make this one. Why not? Because I don't really own a lot of stuff in this color. I thought it would look good with my black coat. But anyway, the point is, is how you do one thing is how you do everything. And you just have to allow your energy to flow in the way that is most natural for you. And it doesn't need to be perfect. And, you know, nobody's going to notice it. And when you just kind of give yourself permission, when you just give yourself permission to just express yourself and express yourself naturally and enjoy what you're doing and play with it everything turns out fine and then before you know it you have seven scarves <laughs> so that was what I wanted to share with you guys today how to get over how you do one thing is how you probably do everything and looking at the area where you don't have any blocks is probably a good way to help you figure out how to get over the blocks that you are trying to get over. Okay? So, anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was super helpful. And I will talk to you later. Bye.